from the YouTube Dojo. This is week now, David Ellie Mueller, and now a man who, let's be honest, should have been named as Carson Daly's heir apparent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Ellie Cunningham Mueller. Ha! Welcome to week now, okay. I'm Ellie Cunningham Mueller. Where's my cross up? All right. Time to talk about this on LT Dark Lord Gaming. Expect the gaming videos and things like that. Fireballs and, and all things Fireman and other things. Never follow now. Just vigilante videos. Entertainers Warehouse with uh, his vlogs and stuff. Although I'm not really sure if he's still around. And Uno Dash and Behind the Derek. With all things Derek McCormick. You know what? I'll start with uh, stuff and whatever. Now, there going uh, right now, there will be a bumper uh, for uh, for you folks about uh, his uh, character on this uh, show, Captain Schemer. There you go. And finally, Alex K is responsible for uh, the top eight list uh, intro. All right. You know what? Don't ask me uh, how he managed uh, to do that. I mean, he is magic. All that. Anyway, let's start talking about Carson Daly. That's right. Hey, Adam, come on over, will you? That's Adam right over there, by the way, folks. Alright. Well, did you know that Carson Daly is the king of NBC? There we go, Carson Daly. Well, it's been about, what, three or four months since we talked about him or something like that? Who was it? Okay. Now, we can say that because it's true. He also is the man who does not want Blake Kelton and Gwen Stefani to break up. And Carson, get them married. I mean, uh, I mean Blake uh, said, you know, he wants to wait uh, a few more years to uh, get married. But they've already been married. Uh, but they've already been together for about ten years. Okay. Very. True, unless you have your own production company. You still not how it works. Whatever. Now, he recently talked about his run on last call, and now he has gone from trying to be funny to being a little like Tom Snyder in 18 years. Well, a lot of people would uh, complain and say that uh, he's the worst late night talk show around. But, let's be fair, alright? You know what, now that you've seen uh, pretty much all the current uh, late night talk shows around, you know, you gotta admit, you know, Carson Daly is pretty, is pretty decent. Yeah, Carson Daly is actually decent compared to the current uh, crop of late night talk shows. Don't David Lerman? Yeah, but he's retired. And what's wrong with Carson? Carson Daly? Yeah. Well, uh, he actually knows how to uh, make... He actually knew how to make great late night television. He knew how not to uh, overstep uh, any boundaries or anything like that. That's boundaries. Anyway, I guess it's time for the top grades. Go! Your boy Gordon Ramsay. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's on Fox. 
let's let's move them to NBC. It's the best business thing you can do. Yeah, I don't think uh, NBC will go for that. We got these commercials in tonight's Friday night uh, on board. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> To talk to a customer, please press 1. Time-tested TV pleasure classics in historic mono for the connoisseur or neophyte, only on Nick at Night. If you're going out to shop for carpeting, you're in for a shock. High prices. Padding and installation. Extra six weeks for delivery. Well, you know Empire's prices start at only $6.95 a yard, including padding and installation. And you know we deliver in three to four days and give you a free Bissell shampoo with two rooms. And if you call now, you get a free T-shirt with any order. So call Empire. I bet you know the number, too. 588-2300-EMPIRE. We get classier all the time. Well, after Adam Levine decided to leave the voice after 60 
you see six things, days and seasons as as well as the show. But here's the thing, bro. Here's the thing, mate. You know what? Uh, the voice has only been on the air for let's see, it began in 2011, almost nine years. Whoa, nine years, ladies and gentlemen. We've been here now for ten, so come on. Well, shout to this more of uh, and happy to work with Stefani again. He has admitted that Levine has survived him when he decided not to return. Blake Shelton says, I didn't expect Adam to pull the trigger like he did. We all knew. We all knew I pulled no triggers. I do not own a gun. Okay. Now, having said that, you know what? Uh, having uh, gone away from that, let's move on to something uh, interesting, alright? Interesting, guys. Open your ears. Now, back. listen to this, alright? You know what? Uh, you know, uh, Carson Daly bid farewell uh, to his longtime late night talk show, last call with Carson Daly, uh, a few months ago. That's right. And on that show, he uh, included a heartfelt on air tribute to his late mom and stepdad. R.I.P. Stepdad. No one. Stepdad and uh, his uh, actual mom. So. Now. Here's. So uh, it's really uh, crazy, right? You know, during his uh, 18 uh, year run, uh, on, the, on the final show of his 18 year run, he said, I am proud as hell of last call. The littlest, scrappiest show on late night. You know, uh, I'm not counting this. This is it on it's late night. Whatever. It's been my home and personal playground for almost two decades. And I'm eternally grateful for the opportunity, the friendships, and all the lasting memories I've made along the way. Now listen to this, okay? You know, uh, it debuted during Grammy's week back in 2002. Well, actually, because it's different. It technically uh, debuted on uh, the first or second week of 2002. And Alicia Keys as the first musical guest. Actually, uh, actually uh, the first guest, period. The presence and willingness uh, to get candid about her life behind the scenes helped to set the tone for Last Call, which Daly said uh, was modeled after Insomniac with Dave Patel. Ah! Then he said, I wanted a late night show that felt like it was happening late at night, and I wanted to feature great guests, important conversations, killer music, and if at all possible, alcohol. And like that, yes, Last Call was born. What type of alcohol are we talking about? Any type of uh, alcohol, apparently. Talking about Rusky, talking about some uh, rum. No, no, it doesn't really matter. Now listen to this, okay? You know, the first uh, week, uh, besides, uh, included uh, everybody from Alicia Keys to Gwyneth Paltrow, Suge Knight, and John Stewart, uh, and then. Uh, Throughout last call's entire run, they had 2,000 episodes. He, uh, he, uh, gave, uh, he gave everybody their start. Well, almost everybody. Taylor Swift, uh, got her start there. Charlie Cambino. Amy Schumer. Ah! No. Okay. <laughs>
Okay. I have only one question. What? Why are we talking about this again? Ah, well. You know how it is. Is it because this, 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 this man was like, last call all the memories. Let me. Oh, oh, oh. But here's the thing the show, uh, the show budget was continually flat. And the studio space was, uh, re had been reduced and eliminated altogether. He, he started the, the show off in, uh, on AH for SNL shoots. Then they moved to LA and then out of the studio. Ah, uh, studio. Unbelievable, huh? about Lily Singh, and then on Wednesday, Stephen Colbert, Thursday, we got uh, Angelina Jolie, and then Friday is the big 10th anniversary show, again, I already told you uh, we'll be on, so there you go, alright, there you go, you can uh, look it up uh, all you want, but as for me, that's, that's it, all that remains for me to say is that the news, and I'm out, keys, follow, right,